Have you heard of Hudson Taylor? It changed my life when I read the two volume biography, Hudson Taylor, the early years. Hudson Taylor, the China Inland Mission. When my wife was dying of cancer, those books were a great strength to her. Who was he? He was the son of a chemist, fragile, weak, often sick. But from the age of four, he was thinking about China, thinking of the millions that never heard the good news of a God that loved them, however weak they were, however bad they were, however sinful they were. But he lost God along the way when he mixed with other boys. But one day at age 17, something happened. Now remember, this is a man mainly responsible for the 70 million or so Christians in China today, because the China Inland Mission has had more influence than all other missionary bodies. Even in the 1890s, there were over 641 missionaries there. Some of them were martyred. Some may have died of hunger, but they changed the part of China where they lived. So when he's 17, one day he's in his father's workshop. He sees a collection of papers. One of them has a nice cover. He says, this is a tract. He'll have a story at the beginning and a moral at the end. I'll take the story, I'll leave the moral. But as he read, he came across the words, it is finished. And he thought, what's finished? And the Spirit of God told him, your redemption, redemption of the whole world. Christ, as representative of everyone who's ever lived, has taken their guilt upon himself and paid the God the price for it, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. As he read it, he was converted. But his mother was away, 70 miles away, and at that very hour, she'd gone into her room of the guest house where she was staying to pray for Hudson. She knelt, determined not to rise from her knees till she had the assurance her son was converted. And the Holy Spirit gave her that conviction. And when she came home two weeks later and lovingly embraced him, happily held him, he said, who has told you? She said, God has told me. God has you, my son. And now you have gone. My friends, no atheist can explain the miracles of conversion of men like Spurgeon, Hudson Taylor, Martin Luther, and so many, be they Catholic or Protestant. Thousands upon thousands have had their minds illuminated by the Holy Spirit. And the circumstances are such they could not possibly be accidental. Here's Hudson, 70 miles away from his mother. She prays, he reads. Same objective, he's converted. That Christ is interested in you, however many your failures, however many your mistakes, however evil your thoughts, however wrong your practices. He died for you. He loves you. Will you not respond this very hour?